Welcome back. While the Heinz History Center building may be closed to visitors, there's still a way you can get inside and see the exhibits there anytime you want. That's because the museum is now open for virtual tours online. And that's just part of what the History Center is doing to reach out during this time of staying home to stay safe. Heinz History Center President and CEO Andy Masick joins us live via Skype to tell us about a Corona collection going on. So Andy, what is this exactly? Well, our curators and our archivists are asking the public to help collect uh, memories of this pandemic. And whether that's uh, what you see when you're doing your remote education, what you see at the stores when you go shopping, uh, what uh, you see your neighbors doing as you're walking or um, uh, jogging in your neighborhood, uh, these are opportunities for us to document what's actually going on uh, during this pandemic. So uh, if you go to HeinzHistoryCenter.org uh, backslash coronavirus, you can actually help us build this collection so future generations will know what, uh, <laughs> what was going on. We're seeing your ceiling, Andy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Sorry about that. I, my iPad is flipping. I hope, uh, I hope that's better. It is. Now, that is perfect, Andy. You may have to hold on to it there. You were slipping away from us. But so, you know, when you're collecting this stuff, you're asking to, for like medical professionals. You're asking for local businesses, educator, educators, really to show how they were able to do their jobs during this time. But everyday people, too, how their lives have changed, right? That's right. And, you know, what you see at the store and how you're coping, uh, what you're doing at home with your family, uh, creating things, uh, talking to another, uh, reading. Uh, you've seen some wonderful things probably on, uh, on YouTube, how families are recreating works of art uh, mm -hmm. or are doing music. Uh, so I think we're trying to get a sense of not only the grim reality of a pandemic, but uh, the fun and the creativity and the humor uh, that people need to survive. Well, and we're living in a time right now where everything is documented, so it's kind of easy to get some of that stuff. Um, so Andy, can you tell us too about some virtual tours? Because if people want to get into the museum, there is a way that they can do that. Yeah, there really are all kinds of ways that you can access history virtually. If you want to see the Steamboat Arabia exhibit uh, with a tour with me, you can come along and virtually experience that. Remember, this was a Pittsburgh-built steamboat that sank in 1856. The pickles are still green in the jars uh, <laughs> because this thing was found 45 feet under a cornfield in Kansas City. And then if you want to re-experience that Destination Moon exhibit, the Apollo mission, uh, you can actually see the capsule, the Columbia capsule. You can learn the stories of how Pittsburgh uh, played a role in putting a man on the moon in 1969 and see all that great stuff from the Smithsonian Institution. And you can even uh, relive World War II with the We Can Do It World War II exhibit. There's Rosie the Riveter and how Pittsburgh and Pittsburghers came together to help uh, defeat the Axis powers and become the arsenal of democracy. Uh, so those are just three exhibits that you can find. You can also find artifacts that you can browse through our collections and uh, discover on your own. There are over a million photographs in the History Center collection, so you can browse through those as well and even do genealogical research using our Detri Library and Archive. Very cool. So there's, there's a lot to do with history at home. History at home. Uh, dot org. That's the place to find it. And, and I want to ask you about Meadowcroft, too, because there's something, and I don't know what this means, Andy, but you'll explain it, I know. <laughs> Gigapan technology so that you can ex explore Meadowcroft from your home, right? That's right. Meadowcroft is in Washington County at the National Historic Landmark, and it's the oldest site of human habitation in all of North America. So uh, it's a rock shelter, a cave, that people lived in when there were woolly mammoths and cave lions here. Well, now you can go to our website and uh, actually manipulate a, a camera 
and see this deep excavation that right. archaeologists have made and see the fire pits or the hearts of the families who lived here 19,000 years ago. Wow. That's fantastic. And now I know what Gigapan is. Now you know what it is. All right. Is. Hey, thank you so much, Andy, for joining us as always. And, and be safe during all of this. Thanks. You too. All right, Andy Masick, president and CEO of the Heinz History Center and regular PTL contributor. Thanks for joining us via Skype. It's always, 